So you're in the Keys of Belize, and you want to go further inland. Your first stop is going to have to be Belize City. So I say my goodbye to Key Cocker. For 15 Belizean dollars, I'm taking a water taxi to Belize City, roughly an hour. And then I'm going to try going inland, figure my stuff out when I get there. Just a quick boat ride away is the former capital of Belize. I have now arrived to the city of Belize, which is Belize City. Before I make my way into the jungle, I'm going to have to eat at one of the many stands in the city. Um, how's this through conch? It's very nice. Yeah, very nice. For five dollars, I get stewed conch, rice and beans, rice and beans, and beans. coleslaw, potato salad, to standard Belizean fare. Yeah, can't go wrong, save money. You can't eat coconuts all day. Already my second time in Belize City, I've noticed that the food here is really good, and it's also a huge linking point to the entire country. My next stop, San Ignacio. I'm going to the jungle. The jungle. Like always, my first stop is to find a place to sleep. Right by the bus station is the Central Hotel. I'll be staying at this hotel for only six US dollars a person, equipped with a bed and a ceiling. And that's all you need. And like usual, you have your bathrooms at the end of the hallway. The bus terminal? Yeah. There are plenty of guided tours in and around San Ignacio, but being on a budget, I can't afford it. So I'm gonna find my own way to the Crystal Ray Waterfalls. The adventure begins. Let's find some waterfalls. Taking this little dirt path to the waterfall. Uh, it's not much right now, but I separated myself from the guided tour scene. I'm my own tour guy. I think this is it. And with a bit more exploring, I eventually find the waterfall. And it was definitely worth it. I mean, it only cost me one dollar to get here. Now that is being on a budget. Woo! After a quick rinse, I end up hitching a ride into town. It's time for some food. You know, there are a lot of beautiful things to do around San Ignacio. I'm in San Ignacio, and I don't know what to do. So I just kind of walked around, and I'm gonna eat at Irva's eat some cheap, good food, and drink some Pelican beer. Order anything, and it comes with rice, beans, potato salad, coleslaw. This is fish filet, fried red snapper, which is Belizean standard food here. After dinner, I make my way back to the hotel. Calvin. I'm Ross David, you know? Calvin Augustus. Yeah, my. Ross David. Yeah, my. One room down from us. Yeah. And he makes this uh, yeah, banana, banana wine. wine right here. This is the factory, man. This is where it's at. Everything is done by the hand, you know? You know, this is the one that bites, you know? Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is the stuff. So what's in there? Banana mash? Banana or? and the recipe. And the recipe, <laughs> the secret recipe? Yeah, banana and the recipe, you know? I was up this morning before daylight, man, washing bottles and getting ready to make cases of wine so I can go out. No, we don't want to sleep on the street again, three nights without food. This is a struggle alongside our people. We want to lift up, man, lift up people. So Ross David know. takes me down to the street where he sells his locust and honey banana wine. Yeah, yeah so this is a locust and honey shop right here, you know. We don't know. Side you know, sidewalk, it's not a nice home. place to sleep on thing, you know, so lift me up, man. Tell you know him go back home. Live up and smoke, man. I sell pure white, coke, and ganja, and mushroom, and I never gonna stop, even if they catch me, I never stop. I kid you not, the next morning, he got arrested. I saw it with my own eyes. Let's end the night at a bar. So, two darts, one person, this much fun. Eventually, I found someone to play pool with. This guy was pretty good, but there's definitely some sort of home table advantage here, because I was way off my game. But at least I tried. I'm off to bed. All right, so it's time for a budget breakdown of Belize. I spent six days there, and the most expensive part was San Pedro, but I managed to cut costs by eating coconuts and finding cheap alternatives. In total, I ended up spending $227. Not bad for Belize. That's an average of 38 bucks a day.